Hello, my loves. Happy Monday morning to you. <coughs> Excuse me. How are you doing today? All right, so we're going to do a weight loss update. I haven't been on the scale in three weeks. And last week to two weeks, I just ate whatever. Whatever I wanted, I ate. Whatever we had for dinner, I ate. I mean, I made some spaghetti last week. There was a company that sent me some food and everything that they sent me has to be cooked. So I used their noodles and made spaghetti. And I basically ate that all week for lunch. So dinner was whatever we had. But we'll go into that because I have to review all that food. And so far I've only had the spaghetti. I think. And they sent me some fettuccine noodles, which are real little, which I like. But I think what I'm going to do with those, I'm going to break them up real small. And I'm going to make uh, macaroni and cheese with it. So, we'll see. Alright, so the last time I was on the scale was November. No. According to my book, yeah, it was October 28th, and I weighed 152.2. So today, November 18th, I got on the scale, and I weigh 149.3. That was a 2.9 loss. I don't know how. I'm happy with it. So we're taking it, and we're running with it. So this week, I'm doing the egg fast for three days, possibly five, depending on how I feel. I tried it last month and I was feeling so bad that I just, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it at all. So we're gonna give it a go. So right now I have in the oven, the Egg Fast Keto French Toast Loaf. It is so good. It's eggs and a little bit of butter And cream cheese and then you just whip it up really good till it's liquidy and your cream cheese because your butter needs to be melted and your cream cheese needs to be room temperature I popped it in the microwave so I'm gonna be able to eat that for four days and I added some cinnamon and a little bit of vanilla and a little bit of pumpkin pie spice and a little bit of nutmeg and mixed it up. So then what I'll do is I'll take some butter and I'll fry it up in the frying pan and get it crispy on the outside. And then it'll be nice and soft on the inside. It's really, 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 really good. So tonight for dinner, I'm making some egg salad and I'm going to have my egg salad on a chaffle. So I'm going to have an egg salad sandwich on a chaffle. So, for my eggs, then I'll have my fat, which is my mayonnaise. And then my cheese will be, because it's like four ounces of cheese a day. So, I'll have to cut down on my cheese a little bit for the chaffle. Because of the cream cheese and the egg fast. And then tomorrow for lunch, unless I get hungry again before dinner time then i'm going to have some fried deviled parmesan eggs so for those all you do because they i found a recipe for fried hard boiled eggs but i don't like hard boiled eggs so you make double i just make deviled eggs put it back in there heat up some olive oil and then you take your eggs after you put your mixture back in it and dip it in parmesan cheese and then you fry them up in a little bit of olive oil so it was really really good but i had a hard time with the filling staying in so i got to do something about that and then tomorrow night for dinner will be the french toast loaf wednesday during the for lunch is going to be um Egg fast fettuccine alfredo. So I'm going to make the noodles. 
later on today and the noodles are just made out of eggs and cream cheese and seasonings. Wednesday night, French toast. Thursday, because I'll have enough noodles left over, I'll make some fresh Alfredo for lunch. And then Thursday night, I might have egg salad on a chaffle. And Friday, I'll finish the French toast loaf for lunch. Unless I get hungry in between. And then that way, because this is going to work out the French toast loaf of, of two eggs a day. I mean, I'm sorry, two eggs per serving. And then my egg salad tonight is going to be two eggs on my chaffle. So that's four eggs. And you can have up to, I can't remember now, six or eight eggs. So if I get hungry, I'll have the eggs to do the, I could always do the deviled eggs, have some more French toast loaf. So we'll figure that out. I'm going along. So I'll probably be doing an update every day of my weight and what I ate so you'll be seeing what I eat every day while I'm on this egg fast so I'm really excited about this and I really just hope that I'm able to hang in this time so let's move this over here and let's talk about something else we're going to talk about are we ready New family members, new family members, new family members, new family members time. And our new family members, Jessica Brittle, Jackie Brown, Jaham TV, Mommy and on the Cheap, Debbie Unleashed, and Country Girl First. So if you don't know who they are, they will be linked below. And go check them out. And give them some love. If you see them, hi. Welcome them to our family. And I'm going to do some more videos right now to get them done and over with. So I'll have them to put up. And that'll be something I don't have to worry about sitting down every day and filming. So, my loves, thank you very much. If we could get a like, and I love comments, let's talk. If you're on the egg fast, let me know. Um, if you're doing a weight loss journey, how's yours going? Do you have any tips and tricks for us? I do low carb, dirty keto when I'm on. Because I done fell off the wagon and the horse drug me way, 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 way out. So... We're back on. We're going to see what happens. I'm going to try my best. And I don't know. You know, I, I really would like to get these last 49 pounds off. If I got 20, 29 off, that would be nice. But I'd like to get all of them off because I'm only 4'11". But we'll see what happens. You know, my body's kind of staying right here. It's fluctuating. So this may be where my body says I need to be, but I have a lot of loose skin that needs to come off also. And if I got the skin taken off, then I'd be a lot closer to my goal. But if I don't move from here, I'm extremely happy. For anybody that's new that's watching this, I started my weight loss journey on December 23rd, 2008. And, well, no, that's when I had surgery. I started back in, oh, I can't remember now, but it was 2005. And at that point, I weighed 353 pounds. So I've lost 207 pounds. I'm very extremely happy about that. Because some days it's a lot for me to move because it, I just hurt so bad. So having all that extra weight on me, I don't know if I could even move today. I have five grandchildren that I need to be here for that need me. 
and I need them, and they get Grandma out of bed every morning, even when they're just being my little bratty brats and fighting like this morning and arguing, but they're the reason I get up every single day. Without them, I don't know where I would be. But at the point, I knew I had to do something to lose this weight because if I didn't, I wouldn't be here watching my grandchildren grow up. So, everything's done for a reason. And my oven's going off. So, I'm going to say thank you very much for sticking with me and watching with me and putting up with my shenanigans and everything else weirdness I do but the weirdness is me I guess I'm just a weird kind of person but this is what you get thank you for the love and the support and if you'd like to join our family please please join our family we have so much fun and we have so much love to share we would love you to have you a part of our family if you think your friends would like to be a part of this tell them come on over and watch and then if they like what they see, or if I make, can make someone's day by making them laugh or smile, tell them hit that little subscribe button. All right, my loves, and as always, be kind today. Open the door, say hello, smile, say good morning. Help somebody if they're having trouble with something. Kindness needs to be brought back into this world, and a simple smile can make somebody's day. It really can. And when people, you're kind to them, it stops and makes them think. And they're like, oh, there's still kindness in the world. So if we can do our little tiny part, maybe we can put a little bit of kindness back into this world that needs so much. All right, I will talk to everybody soon, my loves. I love you. Bye-bye.